We decided to move on policy that I was convinced, based on the experts who were leading the effort, Representative Geis being among them, that we could come up with a good balance and make and recognize 95% of the people who go into prison are coming out. There are two categories of people. There are violent crime offenders who need to go to prison and be dealt with, I think, in a very different way than a nonviolent offender. So what we were trying to do was find a way to get them back into the community, address issues that they may have with substance abuse that could have actually been one of the, the reasons why they committed a crime to begin with, treat them differently so that we increase the odds that they become rehabilitated and productive members of society and, as a result, create safer communities. By extension, that's what we're trying to do here with sentencing reform and judicial reform. And I think we can get the policy right that will make communities safer and will succeed in rehabilitating some people who may otherwise go back into prison and come out a lot worse than they were when they first went in. Well, anytime you come up uh, with policies like this, you're going to have uh, you're going to have opposition from either end of the ideological uh, spectrum. Uh, but I would say to those who say that we run the risk of putting uh, dangerous people back on the street, we run a greater risk if we don't work on rehabilitation, if we don't address mental health and substance abuse issues, of putting more people on the street who are going to harm more. There's always going to be one outcome or another that we wish would not happen, but I'm completely convinced we will create safer communities and better results for rehabilitation if we have the courage to act.